Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the development of geometry using ANSYS SpaceClaim Direct Modeler. Geometry will be required prior to any meshing in computational fluid dynamics or finite element analysis. In this demonstration, we will learn how to create an elbowed pipe and extract its internal volume, which can then be used in fluid analysis programs such as Fluent or CFX. To begin, open SpaceClaim. This is the default SpaceClaim interface. On the top are a series of toolbars to help you with development of geometry. Under the Design tab, there are several options for manipulating the workspace views, sketching basic shapes, and further editing the selected geometry. Before we begin, you can change the way the model moves with certain mouse movements by going to File, SpaceClaim Options, and Navigation. There are a few preset themes, but you can also specify your own for a more comfortable feel. Let's make a sketch on the current XZ plane. We can click the Y axis on the triad in the bottom left corner for a view perpendicular to the XZ plane. Under the Design tab, choose the circle sketch and select the center and a point on the circumference. Alternatively, you can type in a desired diameter. Let's make one of 15 millimeters in diameter, indicating the interior wall of a pipe. Type 15 and press Enter. Let's make another circle with a diameter of 16 millimeters for the outer wall. If we look at the structure tree on the left hand side, we can see the two circles we created. Return to the Design tab and click the 3D Mode button. This exits the sketch and converts our two curves into a surface. Currently, the Pole tool is enabled. This tool allows you to select a surface and extrude it. We are not going to be using the internal surface for this demonstration. With either the Pull or Select tool enabled, click on the surface and press Delete. SpaceClaim allows several common keyboard shortcuts, such as Ctrl-Z, which may be useful to undo certain actions. With the Pull tool enabled, select the remaining surface. Rotate the geometry so you have a better view of the side. Left click and drag the surface in either direction. Again, you can type in a specified value for the length of the extrusion. If you look at the structure tree, our sketch surface has now been converted into a 3D solid. Now we are going to create the elbow. From the design tab, choose the select tool. Control click both the X and Y axis on the global origin. This will force a sketch to be on the XY plane. If you want to confirm the plane is correct, choose the sketch mode. If it is not correct, click the 3D mode again and repeat the previous steps. In this case, the YZ plane is also acceptable. Click the line tool. We will start our line at the global origin and extend it 150 millimeters in the negative Y direction. The line tool may still be engaged and can simply be used to make the next line. If you accidentally disabled the line tool, simply select it again from the design tab. Our second line will also be 150 millimeters, but at an angle of 120 degrees. To switch from typing in the length of the line to the measured angle, hit tab and the box should be highlighted blue. To disengage the line tool, press enter. Select the create rounded corner button and one of the lines Move towards the other line, and then type a radius of 60 millimeters. Close sketching mode by selecting 3D mode. Select the pole tool and the cross-sectional face of the pipe. 
The options for the tool are in the top left section of the workspace. Select the Sweep tool and control left click the lines we drew previously. Now choose the Up To tool and click the point at the end of the lines. The circular cross section has now been extruded along the path. Now we will extract the interior fluid volume. In this case, you could have simply extruded a circle for the volume, but in more complicated geometries, that may not be possible. Instead, we are going to use a built-in tool called Volume Extract. Under the Prepare tab, Choose Volume Extract. Again, the options are in the top left corner. Ensure Select Faces is enabled and choose the Inlet and Outlet Faces using Control Left Click. If your model has multiple inlets and outlets, select them all. Now use Select Seed Face and select an interior pipe face. Hit Complete. A new object has been added to the structure tree. For now, uncheck the solid and curves objects to remove them from view. A dialog box may appear indicating that the object will still be included in the physics simulation. If we were interested in the heat transfer in the solid pipe, this would be alright. Since we will only be interested in the fluid physics, right click the objects and click suppress for physics. Underneath the structure tree, switch to groups. Using the select tool from the design tab, Left-click the inlet face of the volume extraction. Click Create NS, which stands for Named Selection, and type in Inlet. This will be useful during meshing and analysis so that you know exactly where certain key features are. Select the outlet and do the same as before. If you want to, select all the walls of the volume and name them walls. Fluent will recognize these specific names and apply the associated boundary condition types. This concludes our demonstration on the volume extraction of an elbowed pipe.